This is such a vibe. Like I'm feeling, I'm feeling the hair, the eye look, the black lipstick. I'm just, I am living my best life. Cheers. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my Pan That Palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila Palette. So, we hit pan. I actually just hit pan in another shade this morning, doing this eye look. So we've hit two new pans since the last update. I'm, I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. I've got plans for the next month too. So before I get too much into that, let's go ahead and roll the slideshow of all of my progress up until this point. And this is my palette now. Look how this looks so like well loved now, doesn't it? Look at this. Okay, so I did hit pan right after I filmed my last update. So right here, I do have a decent amount of pan in that shade. And then right here, you see a little baby pan? I just hit that pan this morning, literally this morning. So we have pan here and we have new pan here. And then I really expanded the pan. Like you can tell a difference, especially like in these two shades. Like this shade is actually like getting close to being used up. And then I actually hit the top of that shade right there. And then I expanded the pan a good amount down here too. Really didn't do a whole lot up here or with the matte shades. I'm using them, but you really can't tell. <laughs> uh, so yeah, oh, look at that progress. I think this is just going really well. I I don't want to like get too over excited and like get ahead of myself, but I think I'm really good for where we are in this year and for the project as a whole. I would say just I'm like a little less than halfway done using all the product in the pan, which is what it looks like to me and what it feels like when I'm actually going in and I'm using product. So I've really been using this kind of royal blue shade. I actually just used the, like my entire eye look today is like just this shade and then a highlighter I used in my inner corner. Um, it looks really pretty, but I have to say like this is actually one of the only shades, I think it's like this shade in the palette and maybe this one, where it actually looks kind of patchy. I've used it with a couple of different primers. Um, I've been using the Lorac Pro primer a lot for the last few months and I noticed it looks really bad of that primer so I used a different primer today I used the Dermacol makeup cover concealer as my eye primer today and it looks a lot better but still I did have to work a lot with this shade so I was actually kind of surprised when I wanted to do a look like this this took time to like build up and get to this kind of like intensity and opacity because when you first put this on it is kind of not as pigmented and it's patchy which like to me it's like mm, so i'm not i'm honestly not a fan of this i kind of want to franken it but there are other shades i want to franken more so don't know what i'm going to be doing there i might just keep this to the lower lash line for now i mean other than that i've really been trying to focus on the matte shades up here but you can't really tell there isn't a huge dip in either of them yet um, and I've really been using the shimmers a lot. I noticed that once I hit a lot of pan, I kind of stopped reaching for these shimmers, um, just because I was also focusing on the mattes for so long. But like, I am close to finishing this, this one up completely, and now I'm torn. I don't know if I just want to finish it up or if I want to franken it. Because I was, I was looking at this palette the other day, and I felt so inspired. I was like, I want to franken like the shades in this palette. I don't want to bring in any new shades, kind of like I did with my last pan that palette. I really want to keep it within the palette and start mixing shades to finish them up. So I felt really inspired, especially with like these two shades. Like I'm thinking this shade right here, I really want to mix with the matte up here. I really want to franken those two. I was thinking about frankening this one with this, but I'm trying to think of what are the shades am I like struggling with that I want to franken a bit more. And I was thinking maybe of this shade, because really I only really use this now for like my brows. So I'm thinking maybe if I franken that 
with either the lightest shade or maybe one of like these pinks down here we would get like an interesting like dark grungy purpley shade who knows but i really want to franken if you guys have any ideas like looking at the palette now if you have any other ideas or suggestions for what i should franken because the only one that i really want to do is these two i want to franken these two shades together let me know down below because i'm feeling it and i will film whenever i do get around i'm gonna try and do it sometime this month before the next update I really like I feel like we're at the point now where I can start thinking of the end game like how do I want to mix these shades to make them easier to finish like we're not just trying to hit pan here we're trying to finish so that's how I'm approaching this and that's what I'm thinking so I just realized there's really only four shades in here I have not hit pan in yet wow <laughs> I've pan in every other shade so it's like this pink shade this dark purple and then like these two dark mattes right here wow I don't want to franken these because I haven't gotten a lot of use out of them yet. I wouldn't really want to franken a shade until I've hit pan in it. I just think that makes a little bit more sense to me. And then also, it you use up enough of the product where if you mix them, like if I mix these two shades together, I don't think I would overflow a pan because I've used up enough to hit pan here and most of the shade is gone. So that's just kind of how I'm thinking uh, when I'm approaching uh, frankening some shadows. I also, since I don't like how patchy this one is, I might, I don't know what to franken off this. What would you franken of this one if given a choice so yeah so th those are my thoughts that is my progress i think i'm doing pretty dang good and i just i got the bug i got the franken bug not too long ago so i really want to get in here destroy some shadows remix them make some new things and actually start you know hitting the hitting towards the finish line finishing up some shades and i got really inspired because like i'm really close to finishing up this one and I've really just been using this like on my lid and then as an inner corner highlight for every look that I've been doing. And so I was able to use up just most of it, most of it there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your Franken suggestions down below in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure you check out my Instagram page. This is my Instagram. I have not been posting daily looks as much as because I've been so busy, but I still keep up to date with my Pan That Palette. So like the minute I hit pan in any of these shades, went up to the Instagram and I do interact there if you message me on Instagram I will get back to you usually within a day because I love talking to you guys especially when you tag me and things for the next be wow or anything like that I absolutely love it so please make sure you connect with me there thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video bye and for anyone wondering yes I did get my window AC unit here in the office and it has been a absolutely lovely 73 degrees oh. I feel I feel spoiled. I feel pampered. I just I I feel amazing. I love it. And I've had it off for like 20 minutes to film this and I don't feel uncomfortable yet. I think I will survive the summer after all. But once spooky season starts, I'm already looking. I saw the fall preview from Michaels. I am going to buy so much spooky shit. You're not even going to believe it.